everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the error 1722 in Windows 11. So before we dive in into any solutions, just make sure to restart your device. As simple as it may sound, this type of fix usually solves a lot of problems, so make sure to try it. To do this, just press the Windows button, then select the power icon and afterwards click on the restart option. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to use the SFC and DISM tools. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, just type the following commands and press enter after each command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and then restart your PC. Afterwards, just check if the problem still persists. You can also turn on the Windows installer. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type services.msc and then select it from the search results. In the services window, just scroll down and find the Windows installer option and simply double click on it. Then in the Windows installer properties window, just set the type to manual from the startup type drop down menu and lastly just click on the start button to enable the service. Finally, just select apply and then ok to save these changes. Another useful solution is to unregister and re-register the Windows installer. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now, to temporarily unregister the Windows installer, just type the following command and then press on enter. When this process is complete, you can now re-register the Windows installer. To do this, just type the following command and then hit on enter. Finally, just restart your device to save these changes. Another useful solution is to enable the Windows script host. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Afterwards, in the command prompt, just type the following commands and then press enter after each command. Lastly, just restart your PC for the changes to take place. And another great solution is to perform a system restore. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type RSTRUI and then select it from the search result. In the system restore window, just press on the next button and then simply choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and then press on the next button. In here, just click on finish to start the restoration procedure. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.